even just sitting here right now, I can feel in the right side of my spine right now. I'm having a really bad spasm. And it feels just like it, like you're taking it, stretching, and it's going to break at any moment. God, it, it feels like a Charlie horse in your back. That's the only thing I can figure. It hurts really bad. This is what it feels like to live in constant agonizing pain. It's literally like radioactive termites are chewing your goddamn bones. Like last stage labor pains. The way to describe I it is you're being tortured. Fire going like up and down. putting a fork in a socket and getting my shocked. Face, my chest, my chest. You live all day, every day, day with that but torture. But you like that's scraping your tissues off your bones. Around 17 million Americans live with debilitating chronic pain. The relief for their suffering actually exists, but some doctors are refusing to prescribe it. He looked me in the face and he said, I will not give you any medications. If you want drugs, you can go get them on the street like everyone else. Get out of my emergency room. This is a story about unintended consequences and how they ruin lives. You see, the relief for these people's pain powerful opioids. In the 90s, doctors began handing them out like candy, triggering a heartbreaking crisis. Opioids are now the biggest drug epidemic in American history. Overdoses have claimed half a million lives since 1999. Today, opioids like fentanyl and oxycodone are dirty words. But for chronic pain sufferers like Laura, they're life-changing. Fentanyl is a drug that is very good at managing pain. The day when they prescribed that, it changed everything for me. I was able to run on a treadmill, exercise, go shopping, do volunteer projects with my church. I could walk on the beach and stand in the water without wanting to cry from the pain my body was in. I was able to work full time, raise my kids full time. Multitask, I was the queen of multitasking. And then they took it away. My administration is working with communities to reduce overdose deaths, including with medication. We will defeat this opioid epidemic. In 2016, in the rush to fix the opioid crisis, the CDC advised doctors and pharmacists to limit opioid prescriptions. They were well-intentioned recommendations that set down a maximum dosage right here. But those recommendations inspired restrictive laws across the country. The result? The pain doctor I was seeing at the time, he said, you know, because of the government now, we need to take you off this medication. He said the best you can do is Tylenol and Ibuprofen. And that's when he dumped me. A brief ray of hope last year, the CDC realized its error and updated its guidelines. But they're not filtering down to every state or physician. In the confusion, doctors are still not listening to their patients. Most of the doctors are nervous about being written up for overprescribing. Doctors are afraid of losing their reputations. They're worried about losing their DEA number. And they will hold back um, prescribing drugs to protect themselves. In a rush to fix one problem, we've created a new one. The opioid crisis was a tragedy. I understand why the government took the actions it did, but I think it was way too drastic. I'm not a drug addict. It's not fair. We are not addicts. We are patients. Tired of being unheard and angry at losing their quality of life, thousands are authoring petitions, lobbying federal agencies, and protesting across the country, state by state. I lost my quality of life, and now it's in existence. I'm just so sorry that some individuals had to suffer. Laura's home state of Minnesota is one of the leaders on this issue. It now offers legal protections to doctors who prescribe opioids appropriately. But even she still cannot find a doctor to prescribe the dosage she needs for comfort. I, I don't get to do anything anymore. All I'm doing is breathing air inside four walls. I'm not that old. I'm 66 years old. The opioid crisis is a huge problem, but this isn't an either-or situation. Doctors can stop over-prescribing and make sure chronic pain patients get relief. If only they'd be brave enough to put their patients first. To all the doctors out there, I want someone to, to treat me as a human being. If someone is telling you, hey, something's wrong with my body, believe them. How can you so blatantly ignore the Hippocratic oath that you took to do no harm? 